Okay, so tomorrow is my first day of high school. Okay, that's it. Um, I just want to show you this. It's Toby. It's Toby. He might be dead in the future. I don't know. Because I'm going to watch this when I'm in 12th grade. Maybe after 12th grade. I don't know. Maybe I might put in a video. Maybe I'll make a montage or, or um, end of the year video. I don't know. I don't want to it's a tough editing but anyways um please please tell me you have a girlfriend by the dude i i love us we're, we're awesome all right but honestly you need a girlfriend all right peace it's oh wait let me tell you the date it's august 15 2016 3 41 p.m i'm not that nervous for high school honestly my heart's not beating fast nothing I don't, because my homies are there. Oh, well, anyways. Hey, is Pokemon Go still relevant? Alright, alright, well, anyways, um, alright, that's it. That's for real it. Peace. I'm gonna throw this ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Albert, are you okay? No, you're <laughs> gonna <laughs>
to get tattoos after high school. That's funny, toilet paper, ha ha ha, joke. Ah, that's funny. We have a mask that says Senior 2020, Da Vinci Schools. We have a letter from the senior committee and leadership, whatever. I'm not gonna read that, I don't like you guys. I'm just kidding, I'll read it my own time. Hawaiian necklace, is that how you call it, Hawaiian necklace? All right, I'm not gonna rock this, I'm sorry. I, I just can't rock this for the rest of the video. Oh, okay. So this is where your diploma would go, but there is no diploma in there yet. I'm gonna go pick it up at another part of the video. Whew. This is gonna be insane, dude. I don't like this. If I'm being completely honest, I don't like it. I just wanted to, to appreciate these last moments with my friends. And my mom tries to make me feel better by telling me that like, we're once in a lifetime class, but it's like, bro, I don't care. I just don't want it to hang out with my friends. I wanted to say bye to everyone, but that sucks, huh? You classes that are watching this, cause I know a lot of you are young, please appreciate your high school years and your graduation. Cause it was just stripped away from us. Like no warning either. Just you're not going to school now. Oh wait, you're not going to school ever again. Okay, anyway. That was it for this segment. I'm very happy. I'm gonna read these and I'll see you guys at another point in the video. All right, hey guys, I'm on my iPhone because I'm not about to take my camera to graduation. So there's a lot of updates. So graduation, it's not really graduation. You're, I'm just gonna go to the parking lot of my school with my friends. So right now I'm gonna meet up with my friends. We're gonna hang out. So I haven't seen these fuckers in like months, bro. So I'm finally gonna be able to see my friends. I'm so happy. And then we're all gonna just skate to the school. In the school, it's like a goodbye thing. Like everyone's gonna be out like hugging teachers and shit. So like coronavirus, where are you, bro? Like what i'm happy for that i'm really i really am i'll update you guys more <coughs> after the video you know when i talk on my desk and shit but for now you're probably gonna see some clips of what we did no i'm recording back at the old campus it's crazy bro i miss this place i remember right here brandon young did a little he crashed into the pole <laughs> Fucking lighter, bitch. <laughs> oh, you don't know, how to know, don't know how to use a fucking lighter. My hair's crazy, bro. Go, go, go. Tough's hair is crazy. Okay, maybe I should like shield it for you. Okay, go oh, shield. Gotta... But you're bored. Oh, like you're God. bored. Dude, my knees are such a bitch. Oh. 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 Holy shit. Alright, this is a drive through Yes, okay. sir. Oh my goodness. Hi, Mendoza. You're my favorite teacher, teacher senior year. Oh. Definitely. Hi, Hanush. You're the only class I failed. I miss love. Oh, thank you. Aito. I miss Chan. In case you're wondering why this bald gentleman just said that about me, you know, the foot massage thing. Well, let me explain. So basically, my school wanted us, the seniors, to write on a piece of paper what we want to be when we grow up. And when I grow up, at the end of the day, I do want to be a YouTuber or a social media influencer or something like that. Well, YouTuber. But I didn't want to write that on the paper. Yeah, it seems kind of like, I don't know. But I was like, fuck it. Let's put some random stuff. So this is what I put. Hey, your boy made it. Look at that. I got the chains on and the fur coat. Also, whoever edited this video, they recorded the audio of the song and then put it on instead of like downloading the MP3 file. So weird, dude. Who edited this shit, honestly? Because what the fuck? Hey, Ralph. <laughs> Thank you. I'll turn in my PO out tomorrow. Police. I cheated. Yeah. Thank you for making it this far into the video. Now, I'm not gonna be all professional and shit, like what the fuck? <laughs> but I do wanna be a little bit more serious. So let's turn up that seriousness a 20% more. I was thinking about wearing my whole graduation outfit. Well, one, I don't even have the actual gown because we returned it. And two, bro, I don't like how this looks on my head. I'll put it on the other head. High school's over. That's insane. I feel like just yesterday we were at the Overnighter, which is a camp field trip. I forget what camp. I think it's called Camp Conrad or something like that. And then we we're all rapping and, and Zach Yo, started rapping and then blew everyone away, which that was trash, by the way, looking back at it. I could do a lot better. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I can't believe it's over. Especially the fact that it ended at home. I've already ranted enough about that. I'm not gonna keep bitching about it. These experiences, these past few years have shown me I truly have grown as a person. I remember going into high school, my mindset was so fucking different. I didn't care about school. I did not care about grades. As you can see, I said I failed a class and that's true. I failed a class because I didn't care about, about school. I just cared about the girls I was chasing around. I ended up failing one class and I had to do summer school. 
and that summer school experience that really made me get my act together shout out cameron for being at summer school with me that was dope but that was freshman year all right don't think i'm don't think i'm currently stupid wow looking back at ninth grade it was a really different place i actually had friends <laughs> everyone was just so friendly with each other and yeah i i just didn't care about school i did not care about grades and i don't know if i do regret it honestly I don't know if I regret it, and I don't think I will regret it. It taught me a lesson. Thank you to Da Vinci Schools for providing great school material to me. I don't even know what to say, but thank you to all the teachers. Shout out Kama, Chen, Corey, and Mendoza. Those are the main teachers I like, or like that were just great teachers. There were some other ones, but they didn't meet some expectations. <laughs> Now I'm greeting you guys. Big shout out to Corey. <coughs> I hope you're watching this right now, Corey, but I know you see something in me that other teachers don't, and I promise I'm gonna do great in my life. I'm gonna get famous. I'm letting you know that right now. I always told you that, and I'm keeping that promise. I'm gonna get famous, bro. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna come back to school, and I'm gonna give you, I don't know, I'm probably gonna give you like $1,000 for a reaction video. Just get me views. <laughs> probably more. But thank you so much, Corey. You are the only teacher that ever gave me an award. Imagine that, bro. Corey is my math teacher, current math teacher, or like my most recent math teacher. But yeah, you're the only teacher that ever recognized me for an award, and I will never uh, forget that. In my school, the awards were given to the same seven kids every year, every semester. And I don't know why, I don't know why teachers just don't do their research and be like, oh, this kid won, let's recognize another kid. But no, they only recognize the book smart kids, you know, the kids that read on their free time, which is who reads in their free time? What? That's one thing I did not like about my school. They kept rewarding the same seven kids every semester. Bro, it's like they didn't care about creativity in students. Great job recognizing the other kids. Like I know a bunch of kids that have bad grades, but are their creativity level artist that's a little critique all right nah but for real shout out Corey, best teacher these four years have definitely changed me as a person and i am super grateful i would say i'm a lot more mature now i can i watch what i say and i watch how i act around people that's where i want to talk about something i want to apologize to everyone around me in high school and now you're probably wondering what's tough talking about bro tough's cool um i'm an asshole like in real life, I'm a, I'm a, I can be a dickhead. Not enough that I have no friends at all. Enough that I have one group of friends, but no one else. I'm guessing it all started in freshman year. In freshman year, I put myself in this bubble where I could only hang out with my friends, my crew members. That's what we call each other, the crew. And labeling ourselves that just led to me not hanging out with anyone else. I, I put that barrier up and I didn't let myself hang out with anyone else. So that ended up with me not really having any friends outside of the crew, which I regret so much because I don't have any fucking friends. I don't have any friends besides the crew. I have a handful, but that's because they know me for who I am. But in freshman year, I came off as such a dickhead. I was such an egotistical kid and I don't like that. And the thing is like that freshman year paved the way for the rest of the three years. So I'm so thankful I have my girlfriend and the crew. And the fact that when my freshman ex broke up with me and turned her friends against me, that didn't help at all either. I just looked like a fucking dickhead, like a full on asshole. So yeah, that's definitely something I'm gonna change in college. I'm not gonna put myself in a bubble and I'm not gonna be egotistical. To anyone in my senior class who's watching this and doesn't like me, um, that's okay. I don't care. Actually, wait, there are some kids in my senior class that I seriously do not like. I don't like you, motherfucker. I'm not gonna say any names, obviously. I'm just thankful I'm never gonna see you again in my life. I don't know if people just can't take truth, honesty. The way I speak is really harsh. I don't know. I'll learn along my life. I do regret speaking like that to people that, normal people, not people that I didn't like, just people that I didn't have a reason to not like. It really um, affect, affected me to this day. I hate putting the idea out there that I have no friends. I mean, to some degree, I don't. And it, sad, it saddens me. It really does. Maybe that's why I own a meme page. <laughs> yeah, I'm so thankful for my girlfriend, bro. That's one thing I want to change in college. I want to be able to have a group of friends with males and females, like a regular group of friends that you see on TV. My group of friends was just all guys for four years. I didn't get to really talk to girls besides my girlfriends, which I, I'm still surprised I was able to get two girlfriends in fresh in high school. I'm thankful for Brie, though. The other one I don't care about. I'm so thankful for Brie. Shout out Brie, because I know you're watching this. Okay, that was rude, saying the other one I don't care about. No, I, I'm thankful for everything because I learned lessons in the end and it made me a better person look at my knees do you see my knees i hope you guys seeing me in a 
vulnerable state is that how you say it? vulnerable anyway i don't like talking about myself too much because i get carried away i do i do want to think about the memories we've had like denny's at the old campus going to school late on fridays hanging out after school the crew working on exhibition night staying after school making cornhole boards freshman year all the videos we had to make the video psas the new campus where we would walk to subway on exhibition nights and go back man i'm gonna miss that college is gonna be different for me it really is. I really hope to make new friends in college. Shout out the crew though, because they will always be my brothers. Without them, I would not be who I am today. There's gonna be, there's so many things I could say, but I just won't be able to fit it. I won't be able to. I know every time I'm gonna watch this video, I'm gonna be like, bro, you should have mentioned this memory or this memory. It's like, bro, chill, we're only human. I didn't write a script down for this, okay? Thank you to Da Vinci Design. I'm sure you'll be proud of every single student. Did anyone flunk, by the way? Did anyone flunk? I've heard rumors of some kids flunking. Y'all gotta let me know, though, in the DMs. Hey, people from school DM me, though. <laughs> I just wish we had some sort of celebration, honestly. This chapter of, of life is over, bro. Like, we're 18 now. That means we have to do... I don't know what... I don't know what the fuck that means, actually. It means we're adults. So there you go. You know, my greatest fear is not knowing the future. That's my greatest fear, is not knowing what's gonna happen in the future. This dream of pursuing youtube is it gonna work out like it's scary kind of sad seeing all these kids in my grade saying going to this private college and i'm just sitting here like did i mess up did i mess up not trying these four years of my life i don't think i did because i know what i want to do in my heart i want to be famous and i'm gonna try really hard one day i'll be sitting next to jimmy kimmel or jimmy fallon bro you'll see at the end of the day i'm gonna pursue what i want to I'm not gonna let anyone decide for me, but it's scary seeing everyone just got accepted. It really is a scary thought, but that fear is what fuels me. That fear is what motivates me to do better, to achieve something in life, to let everyone know, hey, I didn't have that opportunity, but I still made it. All right, this, I don't want this to turn into something that it isn't. <laughs> I just wanna let you guys know a little bit more about me since this is a special video. I hope people watch this not only from school, but like my viewers. You guys, I know you guys are younger. Make sure to appreciate high school. It's gonna end quick. This video is long enough. This speech is long enough. If you wanna keep in contact with me, make sure to follow me on Instagram at my name is Tuv and make sure to subscribe with post notifications turned on so you are notified whenever I upload. Also subscribe to my OnlyFans. It's down in the link in the description. Nah, I'm just kidding. Hey, if you watched that all the way through, I don't know why you did, you're insane. Leave a like. More videos to come. Don't you worry. Shout out if you uh, watched this video because you found it in your, when you looked up DaVinci Design High School and then you found it like, eh. that's it for this video. I will see you guys next time I upload. Yo, um, I just watched the other video of me, um, saying bye or something. This video is for your girlfriend, right? Tell your girlfriend to look at the screen right now, okay? You're looking at the screen right now, right? Girl, current girlfriend. Let me go anal. Yeah, let's go. Peace out.